Hi everyone, if you're new here, welcome to my channel, and if not, then welcome back to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be my January wrap-up, and I know I'm a little bit late with this, but I am just honestly glad that I was able to film it at all, because it has been a crazy-ass week. So I really started off 2023 with Outer Bang. Um, January was a terrible reading month, my worst reading month of the year, and honestly my worst reading month in a while. I read 12 books, I think, so like, book-wise, not too terrible. Um, not amazing, but not terrible. I just had no, like, five-star reads, no amazing reads, and I wasn't really enjoying reading like I wasn't looking forward to reading or anything and I can't blame it on the books honestly I feel like that was probably just what was going on in my life I feel like my life was just way too crazy and that's why I couldn't get into reading but anyway here's to hoping that February is better because January was not it regardless of that we're gonna talk about all the books that I read today I had a few on here that I think you guys are gonna really like because they are pretty hyped up and I read them so like a round of applause for me please I rarely read hyped up books but I did it this time so we'll get into my thoughts on those ones because I know you all have been waiting Anyway, before we get into the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stick around. And let's start off with the book that I started reading on New Year's and finished on my birthday. So that book is A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. I read this entire, like, three book series by her, and I didn't love it as much as I feel like a lot of people did, but I think it's a pretty solid series, and I had a fun time reading it. And you know if I'm reading a book all around important events, like New Year's Eve, my birthday, you know that book has to be good, or else I'm not reading it. So this book was good enough to read on my birthday. But this one is the second book in her series and I think this one is the fan favorite like I know there's one book in the series that everyone says is so much better than the rest like it's the best book by Monica Murphy and the others are not as good and I don't remember if it's this one or if it was things I wanted to say but never did pretty sure it's this one though so I enjoyed it yes I did think it was a lot better than the other ones but I wasn't in love with the characters like I wasn't fully invested in them and it's a really thick book like this whole series is so fucking thick and I had a fun time reading it but I still think that it like it didn't need to drag on for that long but regardless of that I read the full thing and I actually enjoyed it did I get bored a little bit I was kind of just like why is this dragging out so much but I still enjoyed it and it made me realize that I kind of like thick books as long as I actually like the characters and one thing I really really loved about this is the title and like the meaning behind the title like it's so beautiful and it's so fitting if this book had any other name for it I wouldn't agree with it because like a million kisses in your lifetime is so perfect and I thought it was really beautiful. Definitely swoon worthy and I had such a fun time reading it. I rated it four stars and I don't remember what I rated on the spice scale. Probably like 3.25. After that, I read Promises We Meant to Keep, uh, also by Monica Murphy, book three in the series. I found it fucking trash. I did not like it. I was pretty excited about it because I love a good second chance. It's kind of like forbidden and she is like a bitch and he is not a bitch. He's like more respectful, you know, and I always love that combo, but this just managed to somehow miss every single one of the things it could have been. Like, you know, when a book like hits all the spots, this missed all the spots. And I was just like, how the fuck did you even do that? Cause the setup sounded so good. It could have been amazing, but it just was so bad. And I mean, it wasn't like terrible. I didn't rate it one star, I rated it three, but I really did not have a fun time reading it. I'm surprised I read this thing. Honestly, I like dragged myself through the whole thing and I was reading another book at the time. So that's the only way I finished it. I seriously don't know how this book turned out so bad and I don't think I'm alone in that I think a lot of people don't love this book but yeah I was just like this could have been so good like this setup could have been so good but it wasn't it was uninteresting honestly and the characters mm, especially the guy actually made me want to punch something sometimes so yeah not my favorite I rated it three stars didn't care to rate it on the spice scale because I wouldn't recommend it then I got an arc of judgment day by Delaney Foster and this is the last book in the obsidian brotherhood series I've recommended this a bunch of times before and and I loved the beginning of the series. The book before Judgment Day, which I don't really remember what it was called. I didn't love it as much. I didn't like the hero very much or the setup of the plot. Honestly, I didn't love it as much. But this one, it's the last one. So I was really anticipating it. I was like, we're going to wrap some things up in here. And oh my god, this was fucking crazy. Like, I was taken so aback by this. Everything I thought would happen in this book didn't happen. No, but some of that actually happened. But then, like, it went over what I thought would happen. And I was like... Like, my jaw dropped this entire book. I was just like, no, she didn't. Like, the twists and turns were amazing. Also, I was shook. Like, I was just like, oh, so it's gonna end like this. It's gonna end with these people. And it didn't. And then I was just like, okay, this is what's gonna happen. But then I was like, no, that can't happen. Because, like, that doesn't fit the characters. But then it ended, and I was just like, wow. That was pretty great, because plot-wise, the book was good. Um, I didn't honestly care too much about the plot. The drama in this, I wasn't totally here for it, but some of it I was. I guess it helped the book a bit. But then the, like, romantic side of it, I was shook, number one. And number two, I actually shipped it. So, yeah. 
This was a tumultuous read. I really enjoyed it though. The twists and turns had my jaw dropped and I read this in like two sittings max. So really enjoyed it. Gave it four stars and then 4.5 on the spice scale-ish. And um, this is gonna be like a mini, mini spoiler part. But one thing that I wish this book had was more of an ending because I feel like once the romantic part like kind of wrapped up, I was just like, oh, that doesn't really fit. I would have wished for like a tiny bit more development between the characters and their love. Like just a little bit more because I was just like, that makes no sense. Like none of them would allow that. And I just needed a little bit more of them together and then I would have been like okay that's fine but yeah I really enjoyed it four stars and like 4.5 on the spice scale next I read skulls and stitches by NJ weeks and this was on my like what's on my TBR video and a few people commented like oh that sounds really interesting and I was like yeah I know I'm so excited for this I hate to say it you guys but this was terrible I did not enjoy this and I always feel bad saying like a book was terrible because like maybe it was just me but honestly this one might not be just me because the way that this was like so confusing and so fucking boring while being intriguing was like fascinating to me like it was so fucking boring because nothing happened and then everything happened and the like setup for it too was intriguing but then I was just like oh this book annoyed me the hero oh my god oh no a straight no not because he was like too villainous or whatever just because he was like a dick and like not even rude to her not even a bully romance he was just nothing was desirable about him nothing and the way that he was so fucking cocky but couldn't back it up pissed me off so much and the way that he interacted with the heroine like page two you're mine like shut the fuck up buddy like take a minute okay and the heroine too i didn't really care for her the twist at the end made me roll my eyes i was like no <laughs> no you're fucking kidding right so yeah i didn't like it i rated it like 3.5 max um i really wanted to love it i truly did because it sounded so fucking good but it was not then i dnf'd a kiss of war by clara Elroy. honestly i made myself read this and i shouldn't have because i knew i wasn't gonna like it i knew it wasn't gonna be like a five-star read but i pushed myself to read it and that's why i dnf'd it like if i don't want to read it i can't read it you know because if i don't want to read it i'm gonna hate it and then i just like don't want to read it and then i don't want to read so this is a book that should have stayed on the tbr forever or been taken off the tbr <laughs> then i read a syndicate of sins by marie maravilla and i was also lucky enough to get an arc for this she sent them out super early because she said she didn't want to wait anymore so i was just like yeah no problem here girl like i'll read it yeah i read this in a few sittings this is book two in the paradise valley or something toxic paradise series paradise valley where the fuck did that come from is that a place or is that in a movie i don't know anyway um it's book two and book one i really enjoyed it has a really strong heroine and i love the setup of it book two a little bit different this one was a reverse harem it's in the same world similar setup but to me it wasn't as good as book one and that was mainly because of all the like twists and turns of the plot of here like the guys i liked them i liked the heroine even though she was on the line like literally standing on the line of cringy and like too badass like sometimes the hair ones are just too much for me you know and she was tiptoeing the line like real close to the line so yeah i enjoyed the guys i think they were hot and their scenes together were also like weirdly tiptoeing the line because i thought i would really enjoy this it sounded really great but then i read it and i was just like mm, i'm not enjoying this as much as i thought i would so i ended up rating it four stars i did enjoy my time reading it there was a lot of scenes in there that were really fun a lot of like action fast paced plot so i liked that part but something in it was missing and i couldn't tell you what it was i didn't have a five star reading experience for this one so i rated it four stars and then like and then 4.5 on the spice scale then i was influenced <laughs> and not in a bad way so i saw hawk by jesse hall on like a few people's instagram posts and i was thinking to myself like that looks fucking good but it sounds a little bit too new adult so i took a step back i was like mm, maybe not maybe not um and then i saw more to mary read it and then i was like okay what the fuck ever let's pick it up because her and audrey read this um and i feel like they got a bunch of people to read it afterwards like saw it on their stories and were like oh that sounds so good so i was one of those people and they both compared it to the after series and i've never read the books but i watched the movies so they said it was similar to the after series and then i was just like you know what fuck it i'll pick it up and i really enjoyed it i gave it i think 4.25 stars it was really good i love the forbidden elements of it the hero y'all were not fucking lying he is so hot and he's just everything he is everything um some of the parts of it i was a little bit like come on let Let's move things along here like it felt like it dragged on a little bit some parts I was just like really are you we sure but otherwise I had a really great reading experience with this like a really great reading experience and I enjoyed it thoroughly and I rated it 
like I said, I think 4.25 stars and then like just above four on the spice scale, I think. Weirdly, a little contemporary. Like I was expecting it to be a little bit darker, maybe because of the summary or blurb and a little bit because of the cover. And so I would have wished for like a little bit more darkness, especially in the sex scenes because I found them a little, not bland because Hawk is Hawk, but like, like a little, little, little too vanilla for me. Like a little, okay? They were still really hot. Hawk is really hot obviously but i feel like there could have been a little bit more added to that and would have been a little more fun so anyway i really enjoyed my time reading it and i give it 4.25 stars then i read kingdom fall by a zavarelli and ooh, this one surprised me it's a nanny romance and it's a dark mafia romance and i fucking loved it the hero is like tortured and is a single father so like usually i don't love that i don't like single parent and i don't like small town romance <laughs> i'm kidding and i don't like um nanny romances so single parent nanny romance is this book but it kind of hit no it really hit honestly i loved the hero the heroine i also liked her she had like multiple sides to her and I, sometimes i thought she was a little questionable but i overall really loved their like dynamic together and i thought they were perfect for each other i love the story i love everything about it the tension was so good and like yeah this book really delivered for me it was a dark romance it has like a lot of twists and turns and a lot of shocking twists that might not be like extremely shocking but were fun regardless so i gave it 4.5 stars i think it was really great and i think like 3.75 or 4 stars on the spice scale then i read the lies of the underworld series by Haley jenner honestly these books were so fucking mediocre i hate to say it but book one i don't remember what it's called it's over here it was okay I actually liked the hero in this one. Um, I thought their relationship was extremely, like, realistic. Yeah. While also being, like, words on paper and romanticized. So, I actually really enjoyed that part of it. But, the, like, the heroine kind of annoyed me. And the setup of it, I just didn't feel like I loved it to its full potential. There's a few things missing for me, but overall I rated it four stars and then 3.75 on the spice scale. But then the second book, it was even more mediocre. I rated it three stars. Honestly, there's nothing much I can say about this. Um, it's an age gap, like forbidden romance, mafia romance. Maybe I just don't enjoy this author's writing because something felt off for me in these series. I don't know how to say it, but the second book was a lot worse. I rated it three stars and then didn't rate it the spice scale because I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, everybody, that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on all these books. Hopefully February will be a bit of reading month and I wish the same for all of you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. My links will always be down in the description. You can find my Instagram, my Goodreads, my email, all of that. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon, which will be a book haul.